I'm Jenna with Styles TV and welcome to The Craft Corner. For today's project, we're gonna be creating a knockout design that I have pressed here on my children's Cavio tank. And we're gonna be creating this in cadworkslive.com and I'm gonna show you how to bring this up into Silhouette Studio so that you can access it there to cut on your silhouette. We're gonna be creating this easily with this online designer that's free to Stahl's customers. And I wanna show you how to be able to do this because it's not easy as a decorator or a crafter to create custom art unless you are familiar with graphic arts. So being able to create easy custom art in CADWorks is lucrative for your business. So we'll go ahead and bring up CADWorks Live now. And I already have this screen loaded up here. So I'm just gonna bring up my files and it's gonna load up all of the designs that I have saved in here. So I already have my design loaded into my file, so all I have to do is double click the one that I just created, and it's gonna pop up on the screen, and I'm gonna show you how to recreate this exact design that you're seeing on the screen. And as you can see here, I already have my graphic size to fit the tank. So I'm gonna zoom in on this just so that you guys can see in depth all of the intricate pieces of this design that we're gonna be creating. Okay, so to start recreating this, what I'm gonna do is add text, and I'm gonna type in the name of Studio 84. And then I'm going to go down to my font here, and as you can see, Arial is selected there, and I want to use a nice bold font that will show a knockout design nice and neat. So I'm gonna type in impact there and it's gonna bring up the font that I'm looking for. All right, and it went ahead and changed that for me. So I can click okay. And as you can see here, I have for my original design, four of these. All I'm gonna do is duplicate and then I'm gonna select those both again and duplicate once more. All right, and of course, I want these to be all lined up for me. So I'm going to select all of these together, and then I'm going to go to Align and click Center. All right, so all of that is going to be centered automatically for me. All right, and to create my knockout design, I need to double this so that I can create that image punching through. All right, so that's all loaded up there and I can drop that below because I don't need that right away. But what I'm going to do is make it another color and you'll see why here in a second because I'm going to need to know uh, which one is which. So if they're the same color, it's a little bit confusing, but that'll go ahead and change the colors for me there. And while I'm at it, since everything's selected, I'm going to go to shaping and click condense so that it is all one now and I don't have to select each one individually. So it's all grouped together so I can move this over to the side and I'm going to condense my first piece of my graphic that I started with so that I'm only working with one piece again Okay, so now I need to add my gymnast in there so that I can get that design to punch through my text here. So I can either go to add clip art and choose from clip art here, or I can import my own. I'm gonna choose to import my own, and I'm going to import and vectorize. And you can see all of my recent imports here. So I'm going to select the last one that I imported since that's the one I'm punching through my text. And to successfully import this, I need to choose my background colors because CADWorks is going to vectorize this for me. So I'm going to choose my background color that is white and my foreground color that is black. And I'll click next and you'll see that it traced out the image that I want to import. So I'm okay with how this turned out, so I'm gonna select okay, and it's gonna bring it onto my screen. Okay, so I'm zoomed in here to about 300%, so this is showing pretty large, but I'm going to size this down to about five inches. See where that brings me. 
okay? So I'm going to make this slightly larger so that I can see it in the text and it shows up big and bold. Okay, so I'm going to place this, before I place it where I want it, I'm going to change the color so that I can see it. And I'm gonna place this in the bulk of my text. So where the text is really thick over here is where it says studio. So I'm gonna slide it over this way because this is a intricate piece of clip art here and I want it to show up as much as possible. So being able to drop this in the thickest part of my text here is going to allow it to show up very boldly. Okay, so I'm going to select the clip art and the text at this point. I'm going to select the feature under the shaping tab that's called back minus front. Okay, so this is going to punch my clip art through my text. Now I don't need my clip art anymore. I can delete that from the screen. And then I'm gonna bring over my second set of text. So now you can see where the punch is starting to really show up is where you drop in that second color. Now I want this to line up specifically directly behind that so that there's no extra color showing through. So you can see a little bit of shadow here um, from red showing up behind the black a little bit. So I wanna get rid of that completely. So I'm gonna to go to a line and a, a drop down menu will come up and we're going to choose center middle. So that's gonna line everything up for me so that I'm not seeing any red behind there. Okay, so again, we're gonna repeat a step. We're gonna select the text with that red dropped behind it now. And we're gonna to go to our shaping tab and we're gonna choose back minus front again. So now all I'm left with is my black text and my red piece of clip art that was punched through but is now showing up as punched out text. Okay, so that's gonna give us our knockout effect. So for me to get this lined back up again, I'm going to go to align and center middle. And of course, I want to add my customization here with the uh, gymnastics text. So going to choose add text, type in gymnastics. I'm gonna choose my font which is called Albrecht. And this was downloaded from a website called defont.com. All right, and I'm just gonna size that down a little bit. And then of course I can change any of these colors. So I can change it over here on my color palettes to make it specific to who you are creating your garment for. Okay, so that is the basics of creating a knockout design in CADWorks Live. And now I wanna show you how to export this and bring it into Silhouette Studio. All right, so I can get rid of the one that I created before by just clicking delete on my keyboard. And I'm going to save this one, All right? But I wanna go ahead and break apart the pieces that I know are going to cut separately so they can eliminate that process in Silhouette Studio. So what I'm going to do is select all the red and slide that over. And I'm going to be using the trace feature in Silhouette Studio. And I found that the trace feature works best if you're working with a large file that is two colors. So my background color is gonna be white so I'm gonna make my foreground colors black so that the trace can recognize these lines easily, okay? So I have everything separated and I'm going to go to File and choose Export. All right, so I'm gonna name my design and save this to my computer by just clicking OK. So it, it saved it in a JPEG image which works perfectly for importing and tracing designs in Silhouette Studio. And I'm just going to minimize my screen here and drag this to my desktop. Okay, so I can bring up Silhouette Studio now and I need to import my knockout design by going to File, 
and choosing open. And my desktop is brought up here so I can just find the design that I dragged there and double click it and it'll bring it in for me. Okay, so I'm going to trace this design now. I'm gonna leave it as is and choose my trace option, which is the little butterfly button at the top right hand corner of the screen. And I'm going to click select trace area. All right, so I'm just going to click and scroll down until I've had the entire image selected. And as you can see, it's starting to fill in each piece of my graphic with yellow. Okay, so all I need to use is the high pass filter to fill all of that in. And now that I'm seeing all yellow in my graphic, I know that it has traced my design. So I'm going to choose the trace option under apply trace method. It's the first option. And I can move my graphic out now. Okay, so the red lines are indicating my cut lines. And now I know that it, the cutter is going to be able to read this graphic. Now, since this is a two color knockout design, I need to ungroup this portion of my graphic on the right and ungroup it from the portion of the graphic on the left. So I'm going to select my entire graphic and go to object and release compound path. So that's gonna break apart each piece of this graphic. Now I want to group the pieces that are going to be the same color. So all of my Studio 84 text is going to be grouped together. So I'm going to go to object and click group. All right, so I can move that off of my cutting mat here. And I can go to the right side portion of my design and group that together by choosing object and clicking group. Okay, so if I wanted to indicate the color of heat transfer vinyl that I'm going to be cutting this out of, I can go up to my color lines and choose a certain color just to indicate which heat transfer vinyl that I'm going to be using. So it just makes it easier on you to know which type of heat transfer vinyl to load in. So that's the basics of creating a knockout design in CADWorks Live and importing it into Silhouette Studio. To see more videos on artwork creation, visit the Stalls TV website under the Training Videos tab. I'm Jenna with Stalls TV, and thanks for joining me in the Craft Corner.